for this week's ArchiCAD Tip of the Week. We're going to also review, we're going to review managing floor plan display for elements. So I know many of you, in fact, I had a request about this last week, and it was interesting, I was thinking about this uh, for our Tip of the Week this week, because this is a problem that many of our clients uh, have, not only for doors and windows, but also walls. It's just kind of understanding what does projected what does projective overhead mean? What does symbolic mean? What does overhead at all mean? Um, and what does that mean both, and how is that different from say, windows and doors to walls? Uh, so like on you know, windows and doors, we have this option. On walls, we have, uh, you know, we have home story only, and some options here under show on stories. We have floor plan display options. Uh, we also have show projection for different options as well. So we're gonna kind of review through that. Uh, and of course, this is two examples, um, which you know you can see difference between symbolic and overhead all. Note that these options up here are connected with your floor plan cutting plan. If you're not familiar with that, uh, that's available under the document menu and under floor plan cut plan. When you open up this dialog, uh, the very top option up here, which is set typically at four feet, but you can change that. Uh, is what we use to set the cutting plane that comes through uh, and cuts through our model. Uh, so this is really important, particularly if you have like a house, that maybe it's built on a slope and your floor plan is showing multiple levels. So you enter in at one level and then it kind of steps down to a different level. This can be very helpful with different views that you create. So first off, under our door and window display, if we open up our floor plan display options, as I talked about earlier, we have symbolic um, uh, floor plan display options. We have four options here. So let's first talk about symbolic and overhead. Okay, symbolic is the default. So when I open up ArchiCAD and I open up the default, this is what it's set to. So it's kind of the object's standard symbol. And this is what symbolic looks like. If I were to change that to overhead all, it's gonna show the entire element's outline with its overhead attributes and it's not gonna do a cut through either. So it's just gonna show it as, a, uh, as if it's dashed like this, and it's just gonna show the wall kind of coming through uh, with a dashed line, as, a, as if it's an overhead window, which could be good. For example, if you have an overhead window that you wanna show is dashed in here, uh, but you don't wanna see it as a cut because it's above. Um, so that's a really good way of doing that. The two others, the projected and projected with overhead, are typically used with slanted walls. So again, if you've got a slanted wall here, right? So you're seeing the outline of the wall uh, uh, along these edges on one side, what I'm seeing below, and the outline of the wall on the opposite side is what I'm seeing above dashed. It's doing the same thing with the windows, right? Project it means I'm gonna project the wall, um, you know, where I'm seeing the window here, project it below, and then the window above this, this little dashed line is what I'm seeing above. Projected with overhead means it's not showing as dashed anymore. It's now showing as um, uh, solid lines for both below and above. So that's kind of the way uh, that you would see the difference between projected and projective overhead. But this really is for slanted walls, and these are typically with your uh, uh, windows with typical wall or typical windows in just a straight wall. Also, sometimes you may want to hide a high level window. So for example, maybe you don't want to show that window is a dashed overhead window. Uh, it's, an, it's a high window that's maybe, uh, you've got a 20 foot wall, uh, you've got a window at nine feet, um, and that's above your four foot cutting plane. Uh, you don't want to see that window displayed because maybe you've got another window below, or maybe you just don't want to see that uh, in the plan. So the way you would do that is in your wall tool, uh, you would select this to be projected with overhead, Okay, uh, and in your document menu, document menu, you go to the document menu and choose the floor plan cut plane. Okay, uh, you're then going to set uh, your uh, current story to a height um, of the cutting plane uh, that is offset slightly lower um, than uh, the walls and columns will be cut. So uh, in this case, uh, I'm, I'm setting this to 9 feet 11 inches, and so it's slightly less than the high level uh, window sill height. So if this window sill height, for example, it's above here, okay, 
if the level, if the sill height is at 10 feet, then I want to set this current story to be 9 feet 11 inches. So it's just slightly less. So that way it's cut is only going to show up to that level. So that way that window now is setting above, setting at 10 feet, and it's not going to be shown. So again, you can save that with your view. So when you go to that view, it will not show any windows above that height. This is also another great matrix. If you want to kind of understand different options and how they affect at different places, um, this was actually put out a couple of years ago by Laszlo Naji. Um, this was part of a Twitter uh, discussion that was going on on Archicad Talk. And you can actually go to um, uh, archicadtalk.graphsalt.com and just follow this link here. Um, this will be posted if you're not have time to write it down right now in our recording. Um, but this is a great um, uh, uh, matrix that really shows kind of the different options for projected, uh, what that means for overhead, cut only, symbolic cut, outlines only, overhead all, when you, you, know, when you bring um, the wall options into effect with your window options um, and how those different effects will have. So, you know, I'd highly recommend if you haven't seen this to kind of maybe print this out if you're using, you want to see kind of different window options and how to, to um, display those for different effects for what you want to do within your um, set. So this is a really good, good um, uh, reference. On the wall um, column and beam display, you're going to also have, um, in addition to project it with overhead and, and, and different options we were talking about, you're also going to have home story only entire element. So on um, show on stories, this is really for, you know, being able to show on the home story only. So the element will only show on the home story or on all relevant stories. And if you're not familiar with what the home story is, whenever you place an element, you are selecting what that home story is. So that means it's only going to show on that story where that element was originally placed. Otherwise, if you want that element to be shown on all stories, you select all relevant stories. And so that's a good example where you've got a wall that's 20 feet, and you don't have to redraw that wall on the second floor, so you tell it to show on all relevant stories, not just on that home story. Now, when we go to our project it with overhead, uh, it always depends on whether we're going to show this as um, uh, I'm sorry, whether you're dealing with a sloped wall or whether you're dealing with a straight wall, okay? And this is basically, you know, what these different options mean, okay? So if it's projected, it means it's going to show the cut plane plus anything below the cut. So here's a good example. This is a sloped wall, so it's going to cut through the wall and show the projection of that sloped wall below. In a straight wall, it's not going to do anything more than cut. Project with overhead, which is the default. Uh, is going to show that cut plus what's below and a lighter line, or it could be dashed, depending on how your, your ARCHICAD defaults are set up. Uh, it's going to show, you know, that kind of a, a, of a um, uh, uh, display. Cut only is going to show literally only the cut of the wall. Okay, again, it's not going to show a whole lot of difference here for a straight wall. Symbolic cut, again, if you're doing that for a sloped wall, it's really going to show symbolic, which means it's going to show the outline of what's above, plus just an outline of the wall as it sees it across from a bird's eye view, if you will. Again, here it's going to show the outline only, but, but a little bit either dashed or uh, as a, a slightly grayed out, no, it's actually a grayed out element. And an overhead all is going to show um, this is a lighter line or dashed. And actually, I don't think this shows as dash or says outlines. My, that was my fault. Um, this would not show as dash. Just it would be a, a solid but slightly less lighter line. But overhead all would be, show a dash if you set it to that um, as a, a, a global option in your preferences uh, or as just a lighter line. And so that kind of gives you an idea. Again, it doesn't. These don't make as much of a difference if it's just a straight vertical wall. Uh, but if it's a angled wall, that's where you're going to see the difference. And then. Floor plan range is going to basically show the projection um, to the um, floor plan range, would of course be uh, uh, would show the wall projection on a range of stories uh, that you can you know define. Absolute display limit would be setting a fixed limit um, uh, in terms of that limit that you can set in your cut plane settings, 
or the entire element, the wall will be displayed on all relevant stories.